Hi, Lee Phillips. I want to talk to you about what we call stretching an IRA. Back in 2000, Christy and I went to school for three weeks down in Arizona and we learned to write a contract for an IRA that would allow that IRA to be given to a beneficiary at the death of the original IRA owner. And then that IRA would stay in the IRA, the money would stay in the IRA over the lifetime of that beneficiary. And if you gave the IRA to a child, that was huge because it would stay in that IRA for the next 50, 60 years and grow in the tax preferred environment, either tax free or tax deferred, depending upon whether it was a Roth or a standard IRA. But the money in that would grow tax free and it would grow much faster than a standard investment. So it was really cool. We kind of got, I'm going to say screwed, because about six months after we went to school for three weeks to learn how to write these contracts, the IRS came back out and they said, ah, we don't care. You can stretch it. Just make the election. It's no big deal. So you didn't have to write the contracts for the IRAs. Well, that lasted from about 2000 to about December 31st, 2019. And any IRA where the individual died prior to December 31st, 2019, they left it to the individual and then it was stretched over that individual's life. Now, the individual had to take out required minimum distributions and that was based upon the individual's, the guy who got it, the beneficiary's life expectancy. So if it was a child, it was a small takeout because we had a long life expectancy and in theory, we're going to take out enough money so that at the end of the child's life, the IRA goes away. Well, in reality, the IRA in its tax preferred growth environment would grow much faster than those required minimum distributions. It's huge. Well, the SECURE Act that President Trump signed on, uh, what was it, December 20th, 2019, said, no, 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 we're not going to do this anymore. So it says you do not have to take out, the beneficiary does not have to take out required minimum distributions, but they have to take everything out of the IRA within 10 years. They can take out little pieces as they go along, they can do whatever they want. If they take out the piece and it's a standard IRA, then they have to pay the tax on it. If they leave it in till the end of the 10 years, they take it all out. It's a standard IRA. They've got to pay the tax on it. If it's a Roth IRA, well, they don't have to pay the tax because it's a pre-tax dollar going in, but it has to terminate within 10 years. And I don't really care whether the, and the, you could make the beneficiary of the IRA a trust, and it could be a conduit trust, which means that the IRA fund uh, in income goes through, it conduits through to the beneficiary of the trust, uh, one beneficiary, or it could be an accumulating trust where the money, the investment income from the IRA accumulated within the trust, but that's basically gone now. You got to take it out 10 years after the guy dies, the original person who owned the IRA. The beneficiary takes it out 10 years, pays the tax, we're done. It's over with. So I didn't like that part of the SECURE Act that they just signed in uh, in December of 2019. That wasn't a good one. We didn't like that one. It was nice to be able to leave that in there for the beneficiary's whole life because that, that's a big deal. But 10 years is better than nothing. You don't want it growing with a tax. You would far prefer to have it grow without a tax, even if it's for only 10 years. Lee Phillips talking on IRAs and stretching them over the life of the beneficiary and the new SECURE Act, which says, no, 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 10 years. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We do these once a week or so anyway. And don't forget to follow the links so that we can get you more information on related topics. Thank you. Bye.